Opened in 1928 with the silent film Lonesome Ladies, the Carlton Picture Theatre in Allenby Road was designed by the firm of Blackmore and Sykes and was built by Messrs Greenwood and Sons. It was run by the Hull Picture Playhouse Limited. This was a lavish suburban cinema with an elaborate green and gold sliding dome using Venetian glass and housing hundreds of concealed lights. Roman marble mosaics and painted plaster panels on the walls added to the sense of occasion engendered by a trip to the flicks. A Fitton and Haley organ was installed, but this was later removed to the more central Cecil Theatre and was destroyed when that theatre was bombed during World War II. The cinema had two entrances, one in each of the two towers on the front corners of the building. Above the proscenium was the inscription, A picture is a poem without words. There was a single balcony and for its date a surprisingly large car park. The cinema continued unaltered, save for minor war damage, until its closure in April 1967, after which it was simply converted into bingo usage, which continued as a mecca bingo club until 2008. find out whether we can get in and I have been told the way is round the back so we shall see it's a bit lively because you've got a bloody mosque there a mosque so we're trying to avoid that I think we can help it that's definitely something we don't need oh. This is a cinema in Hull. This is a cinema, yeah. In Hull. All the way down here yeah, to uh, see the, uh, the uh, There's bars in the Bars and... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Made me jump, then. Right, so we're going to see whether the window's open. Yeah, I'm looking at the windows. Yeah. 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 Got to be done. So it's on. Can you see? Folks, sneak around the back. Oh shit. That looks a bit sketchy, that there. Oh, it's got that tap rolling, like sort of. Yeah. Isn't that how old that get? Dunno. He did say you can squeeze around, but that looks a bit tight. Sake. Is that openable or is it not open? No, it's not got enough play in it. Mm. Oh dear. Well. The only other way is. Bit, bit over the, bit over the top. Top here. No. So the thing is, it's a bit of a squeeze. Oh, 
Bye, 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 bye. Keep quiet. Shh. Keep quiet because of the window. is mental. Jesus. Talk about a squeeze. Talk about a bloody squeeze. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I can't see anything. Jesus. What I can think of is this year it looks like somebody's somebody's put it to climb. So we're gonna we're gonna give that a climb in, I think. Up here and on top. Let's see what we got folks. Can you hold on to this camera first a sec? I thought you were gonna move it. Where? Move what way? He needs to get, he needs to get out, look, folks. He needs to get out. He's, he's desperately needing to get out, look. Who'd have thought it, folks? Who'd have thought it? Who would have thought it? There's all when there's a will, there's a way. Oh my God. What are you like? You mad, mad bastard. Um, what the f*** is he up to? Oh, look, there's a, there's a bin, look, there's a bin. Bin, to your left, 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 yeah. What is he up to? He's, he's on a freaking mission. He's just moved like so much stuff against this wall. Yeah, here we go. Going, going back to basics, folk. Going back to the good old trustees. What what the hell was he thinking with this? Go back to the trusted, tried and trusted. <laughs> oh Christ. Uh, there's a door down there, it's locked, but we walked straight past a vent, and I was told we would find a vent on the right other side of the fence, but we walked straight past it, and it's there, and it's open. So now we've got to go back, because that is actually open, so we wasted our time coming over here. Cool. Oh well. Uh, I've got to climb up this puppy. Yep. I'm going to stop recording, it's just easier. So we're heading back now through the undergrowth to where we started. Apparently we walked straight past it. Amazing, come on folks. Get up this. Oh, you're going to Right, here we go. Yeah. Go past that. That is nuts. Hang on. We just came past that and we didn't see it. 
next way now, I thought, oh, it must be another We thing. just came straight past this, and we did not see it. How the hell could we not see that? Right, I need to climb in. I don't know if you could just film us for a second, that'd be all right. Yep. Um, I don't know, just probably bring in, just in case. You might need it, you never know. Yep. Bit. Yeah. There's bit Matt going through the window. Up it's a little bit nailed. There's a nail. There's a lot of nails around the edge, so just watch these ones. Yeah. Wow. Somebody's made a nice ladder for us anyway. Alright, cool. Good shit. Good shit. Safe, but time will tell. Time will tell. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You coming in? Yeah. Oh, oh, your ankle. Watch those bits of wood might just fall off if you hold on to them. I was hold on to the metal. What's all this look? Here he comes, Liam LK, exactly. in the house, full house, all eyes down. Right. Could you hold this for a second whilst I get down here, because I yeah. need both my hands. I'll just get on to this pipe. Yeah, I need both my hands. Do you want to make your way down? Watch out, because there's going to be gas. It could, it could be gas, but it's probably water. Oh, you're going to go under and, and yeah, underneath. Yeah. Wow. I'll take the adventure point and see a bloody dream guys poster or something. Yeah, dream guys. Yeah, it's a dream guys. Let me do, do we do, give it here and I'll, I'll film you. There you go. Got it. Can't not be filmed. Can you hold this uh, track for me, Zach? Uh, there he is. Oops. Oh, oh, it's very naily, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that one's Here he is. At the top. Here he is, folks. Oh, oh. Now, now, can you resist the urge to f scream out, you know, like when you come in here? What? Can you resist the urge to just, like, start screaming the moment you get in? Yippee! That's the one. <laughs> We like that. That's that's the new feature. That's the, that's the we're not getting caught tonight feature. Sorry. That's gas man sign. It could be water. If it drops down and goes shh. Is that the yeah, bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to stand onto that water pump next. Onto yeah. the housing of that water pump. Down. Down. Bob's my uncle. Well, Bob's your child molester. Right. We up? Right. Are we able to? Oh, here you go. Yeah, nice coat. Don't want to screw it. Here you go. Check us out. Okay, got the coat. You're all right, yeah. Yeah. There he is. By the way, this is this is Zach, folks. Yeah. Just think, Zach, not Apple Mac. <laughs> yeah. I went down the concrete and onto this. This this is a boiler. You can stand on the boiler. It's not really going to go anywhere. It's up to you though, which way you go. Yeah. That's, pretty, that's it's all right, that, yeah. You'll be okay on there. Could step down onto this like I did. Yep. Oh, his God, folks. Oh, his God. So there you go. Would you like your coat back, sir? 
You might need it. This this might blow your. Oh my god, yeah. Huh. Oh yeah. Shit. What the? What the? Oh, somebody's been somebody's been living in here, like drinking loads of cans of beer. No way. Oh. Oh, here we go, folks. This we're we're right into it. Look, we are right into it. Here we go. Oh my god. That's why I brought the good camera because I wanted to see the distance. And there it is. Wow. And much like um, the Elysium, those bingo numbers are just illuminated bulbs behind plastic. And uh, they're all up there. Wow, stinks of pigeon poo. But it's all good. Look at this, folks. Oh my god, look at that ceiling. Yeah. Whew. Yes, yes, yes. Do we want a blast? Of course, I don't need the big torch. The big torch, you really need it for the pocket too. But look, I can turn the big torch off and you can just see all the way up to the back of the room. That's the difference between the pocket two and the A7S two. That's illuminated a bit like a fruit machine where it's like white plastic with bulbs poked. Yeah, through. that's right. That's, that's like the Elysium we did in Swansea. Well, right. Had a similar sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, and it's, on the left hand side, it's probably got the money totals. And there's a there's a one of those moving display things, LED displays. Mm. Oh, there's a television up there, look. Whoa, television. Oh, I think it just needs a service. Um, might need degaussing. You might need to degauss it a bit. Just yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Look, there's a bit of a fax machine on the floor. Yeah. Yes. It's a fax machine. They've they've smallened this well they the smallened they have reduced the size of this stage by a lot I think because it would have been much bigger than this oh you can see Liam is up there in the back through that hole right then they have like these snazzy frames look like snazzy mirror frames yeah last person got raped it says. Whoa, equipment racks. No equipment in them. Colors and outfits. Mill bank. There's a piece of equipment still in the rack, folks. What the? Another CRT that just needs a service. Yeah. Oh, what's this? What's that on the floor? Look, mill bank. That's all that mount equipment. Yeah. Do you think don't, it's? Um, don't know what it's for. This is the old stage. Then it must be behind here. Whoa! Look at this. The circuit right? power. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. So this is stage left now. Stage left, and this is probably this, this theatre stage. Probably went from here. This is why they changed it and built it up. This is original, and this is built up. This bit. See where they just like faked it. Created a smaller stage. Oh, those are those are um, mic things for rifle mics. Would have been expensive mics in those. Toa. Oh no, just uh, normal singer stage mics, but boxes for the mics. This was a equipment room, storage room. Wow. Whoa, look at that there. Looks like, it's, it looks like a stairs or something. Screwed to the wall. Uh, concrete. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust it because it is designed for just the ceiling. Yeah, that's concrete. It might just be played for mache. Yeah, that's, that's concrete. It's like there's some stairs behind it. Yeah, it looks like there's a uh, emergency stairs down, possibly yeah. out. Oh yeah, there's the original height of the, the stage would have been here, possibly even higher, it might have gone even higher into the rafters, but 
Yeah. Jordan swimming poles here. It's, it's Mrs. Mark. Oh yeah. We need um, we needed that down in uh, Plymouth to get somebody's drone off a off an area. Drone recovery. Yeah. I can stick it up the bottom. Yeah. For uh, worm worm recovery. You stick um, a net up your arse and start fishing for worms. Arse worms, yeah. Yeah, these mill bank things, they're very small, and it's like, what are they for? It could even just be certain things to drive the displays up on the stage. Could be, yeah. Mill bank, does anybody know what the mill bank company used to make in relation to stage or bingo? Anybody got any ideas? Their speaker boxes, then, no speakers in them. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, what are those up there? Are those seats? Uh, they are actually bingo positions. Because you could play bingo down there and also up there. In the gods. Believe it or not. Oh wow. It's pretty... Uh, we should have hung a chandelier from that ceiling. Do pretty funky, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it's good decor. You can see the, uh, the stripes down the wall. All snazzy walls. Uh, and that end piece on the right there is where they faked, they faked, they took the stage away. The stage would have probably gone from there, come all the way across the floor here, and that would have been the start of the stage because that's a fake new wall. And similarly, this bit here, up, fake new wall. That's pretty mad. Do you think they uh, take the original pattern as well? And make it blend in? Uh, That's knackered, that with that water in dress. Yeah, why would, they, why would they go back in that bit? Probably because it never did. This bar is new. This bit was never here. This bar is new, so they've extended out. They've, they've come out this way. Yeah. And that bar was never there. All these seats and stuff just chucked in the centre. They yeah. won't have done it. It would have been homeless. Yeah. Oh. So, this is the bar room. It's like the old sink. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm glad that uh, I've got my white ass. Watch these floors are spongy here. Yeah, the floors are a bit spongy. There we go. Oh my god, be careful with this floor. Yeah. Stand on the on the rungs for see that sponge in there. Yeah, so they would probably this would have been a lit display telling you the price of things, like you know, there'd have been displays behind there I imagine. Right. So this is a back back room. Control booth or something, is it? Yeah, it looks like a bingo control booth. Right. Looks like it. Come Here you go, then, folks. Bingo control. They have the buttons here. Look, you have the button. You have the button that goes up, 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 down, 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 and 
pressy pressy and you have to flick the switches up to press these because they're very important. It's up it up it up! Down it up it up. Yeah, okay. that's the one. That's how you do it. <laughs> Jord Jordan's reprogramming my brain. I'm starting to speak like him. No. Can't be allowed. <laughs> Wow, it says. Wow, putting on the best game in London. In town, sorry. In, in London? No, that would be relevant to this location. Well, unless, it, yeah. Unless they were from the wrong place, but I got it wrong. It was town, not London. What's behind the door? Once behind the door. Yeah. I don't smile and get to smile and put on the best game in town. Did uh, Pigeon? Is that a year? Uh, what's that? That's what I've had him doing it from 2008. Not much in here. Yeah. The 2007 to 2008 calendar. Wow. How dare they? How dare they? This. Why don't they have a new calendar? Jordan, this applies to you. <laughs> Safety equipment. Yeah. Safety equipment must be worn at all times when cleaning the pipes using Strat cleaner. Strat. <laughs> Fair enough. Why is the bubbles inside there? That's the refrigerator device. Ooh. Look, this door actually is open. What kind of incentive do you What's this? Think? This door's open. <laughs> oh my god. Look, the door is open. Is like huh. is that door's door's open, start? but there's, there's a board on the other side. Oh. But. We've got our way in. Yeah, we didn't need that. We've got magic keys. Whoa. I see more toilets. There's a little uh, red red area before you go down into the toilets. And it wouldn't be like you if you didn't leave a turd in it. I went outside, mate. I was hygienic. <laughs> I went somewhere else where nobody would know. Toilets are still intact, which is bizarre. And it's got nice wood, it's got um, very nice tiling actually, must be said, mm. tiles are top notch, it's not old fashioned. And I always rate a building by the quality of its toilets to be honest, so top marks there folks. Tiles Ooh. are marked on the most... Oh yes, we'll be going up there in a bit I'm sure. In this day <gasps> way. Look, this is the actual entrance and if we turn the lights off you can see outside through the... Through the gaps. Look. Hey. Wow. Wow. We're, on, we're on the street, folks. Wow. On the street, in the real entranceways. But, would these even be open? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So if somebody was to come in here, through the wrong way, now, oh, it, it, it latches really easily. It really latches easily. Oh, my God. Mm, just because the wind would catch that and match it. Yeah. Woo! Somebody fun. walking past and I'll be like, 999! There are people in an abandoned cinema! It is that, disgusting! That's absurd! They are having fun when I'm working 9 to 5! I, I am fed up of it! People are not a fun! Get them out! That's after we that's after we give him the propanolol and valium. That's what he's like. That's after propanolol and valium. Yeah. As I say.
They'd probably, they'd probably be like, I asked to go in that place and they would never let me. And now there's people in there and they're enjoying themselves. I want them busted. <laughs> Bingo tickets, yeah. We could have a game if we were actually really, like, mentally challenged and, and like the most boring game in the bloody world. It's like, I give you a number. Have you got it? No. What about this number? No. What about this number? No. What about this number? Oh, yes, I've got that number! Oh, my God, I've got the number! <laughs> That's about bingo. Is about, like, somebody hands you something, do you have it or not? Yeah, great. Wow. Woo! Oh, God. That's yeah. More. <laughs> Whoops. Modern, more, more modern doors here. Yeah. This is probably where they they use this these doors. Well, not. Yeah. There's a street. So it'd probably have a screen up there, telling you something about what's going on in the building. Privati. Oh shit! I fucking tripped on something. <laughs> oh, no, I just tripped. There's all the bingo cards on the floor. Amazing. What did I trip on? I tripped on bloody carpet. And carpet. That's what I tripped on. It's it's like bunched up like like that. There's no excuses though. He who trips did not look where he was going. Yeah. How old that PIR sensor looks? It looks massive. Yeah. Eighties or something. Male toilets. Wait, the roof's just fallen down the toilets. The cells are still intact. Yeah. It's just the ceilings come down. Look at that bloody big fan thing. Yeah, the ceilings completely come down, so you're now seeing that fan which would be hidden normally. I was gonna say it looks like a grow room equipment almost, doesn't it? <laughs> it would have been concealed in the ceiling originally. Yeah. Why is there just a spout on the urinal like that? Whoa, I've done it again! I just tripped again, you bastard. <laughs> you bastard. Oh, God. Right then, where are we? Ooh. Oh, there's, a, there's a secret stairs up here, look. Yeah. It might be to an apartment, could you imagine? Well, I was I told there was a secret room and not to miss it. And this is probably it. There's a secret area. Wow, look at this. It's like just, you know, stuff chucked and and people would have their coats hung in here. I was told not to miss this room. This is a, a golden gem. Where did that door go like then? ALW said, golden gem. Where did you miss that? Ooh, look that? at this. Steep as hell, this, folks. This is like 80 degree angle. Wow. Well, okay, now it's like a fucking... Ring your door. Oh my god, the seat's up here with the weight. Oh. It's almost like a ladder, isn't it? More yeah. than the stairs. Ooh, you better, better watch your footing here. What the hell is this machine? This looks funky. Oh, it's, a, it's a change machine or something. Look, free, 15 pence, 20 pence, 25, 40. What's that? Almex, Fairstream. Control Systems Limited. And there's a red button, look, an alert button, alarm button. Maybe you press that and it goes, 15p. You may enter cinema for 15 for 20p. He told me it went down underground, but I thought, oh, this looks like it's going above ground. But it does look like it went underground. He said there's cinema reels down here. If this is the place. He said there's all cinema reels, like, s stored or stashed down here. Well, yeah. You can't, you might as well just put that Yeah, cellar is flooded. It says check if pump is not on. If not pumping, kick suction pipe to activate pump. That's their instruction. If not pumping, kick the suction pipe in order to activate the pump. That sounds like bollocks. Yeah, kick it. Is it fucked then? Technically, I think that would be. That looks like a new side as well. Yeah, no power down here. They've been stripping all the copper out of everything. Copper thieves have been here years before us. 
Oh, look, there's a, there's, a, um, there's a controller up there. It's called an ECMS Scrooge Limited. <laughs> Scrooge. ECMS Scrooge Limited. It's a min maximum demand controller. <laughs> so if, if the film is getting too good and the sound is going to cost you more than a quid for the evening, you can limit it. You can limit the fun. Commander, the electricity usage has gone over 15 kilowatt hours. <laughs> we are surging at 20 kilowatt hours. Move <laughs> switch three and seven to position zero. Liam, Liam's like, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is the um, this is the battery uh, battery. Yeah, that's the battery changeover equipment. Well, it's for um, oh. it's a battery backup for the lights. Yeah, you got it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, but that's what's in the top, which you don't normally see. So it's just a couple of circuits. That's a resistor there. That's actually a resistor. That, that must be I road if it's got a heat sink like that. It's got a heat sink on it. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I can hear. Oh, I thought that's that was me. Like... Oh, like, oh, it's a weird vibration making a satisfying. It's saying you've got a dentist appointment tomorrow. Don't forget it, or moron. That's what it's saying. Yeah. Ooh. So this, so to get to the fuses, it's not exactly straightforward. Like we need to turn the fuses off immediately. It's like quick, go up the ladder, across the room, down two ladders. Quick, <laughs> yeah, quick, might, shaman's dying. It, quick. Mi it might look seriously. It might be flooded. We've been told it might be flooded, but it's all right. Just walk in the flooded water where the the, the four hundred volts and two hundred amps is. Radio. Yeah. And, and, like, walk through the flooded water to get to the controls and then turn them off. No, actually, it's more complicated than that. It'll be flooded, and the instructions will be shaman at receptions being electrocuted to death, walk down, kick the suction pipe. Kick the suction pipe and wait 15 minutes, <laughs> and then you can turn it off. Sharon will it will be slightly fried, but we can, mm. we can serve her in, t in a bun with, with white wine sauce. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's that's interesting. Look, that there has got resistors inside it. Yeah, it's it's a um, it's a rheostat. It's like a potentiometer. That has got like loads of coils in there, tons of coils. It'd be a bit like the one you know the the resistive start we yeah. find in um, in bonkers in London. Yeah, this would be for probably for like the vents to to, to change the speed of the vents. You know what you want, but in there, th this is not like linear. It's not like you can change it as much as you want. It's actually behind there. There's a load of switches, so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But it's smooth, so you're actually selecting which switch you're connecting to. And when you connect to a switch, you've got loads of resistors, not so many, not so many, hardly any, none. So you're actually you're, you're going click, 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 click through the the switch things there, and inside are the resistor the coils that get hot. Mm. Which will dump, dump your power into heat to give you that selectable, selectable fan that you love so much. Yeah. Yeah. Resistive, resistive heat dump. I've got the uh, Swiss fans. I love, I love a heat dump. I just love any type of dump, really. Well, I only get heat dumps when I've had like a really hot curry or a really hot sauce. Uh, or, or I've been dying to go for about an hour, and uh, it's just yeah. a bit hot. Zach says it sounds like a pain in the ass to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. There's um, back rooms in there. I don't know quite where that goes, but that goes behind something. Do you need some new slippers? Some slippers down there, like proper old man pensiony slippers. <laughs> Jesus, folks, what is this about? What is this about? Plenty hell. And to qualify for it being safe, we had to put a second, a second uh, handrail in, like a wooden one. Yes. So we've uncovered the Easter egg quite early into the explore. Then really. Oh, key switches there. Yeah. Chain weird. alarm fed via fire lighting. Oh, so you can silence the alarm in certain areas. 
Yeah. Chain alarm. Do you think it means by chain alarm something to do with um, an electrical circuit chain? Well, a chain or like chains that go through doors. So if somebody pulls the chain off to go through a door, ah, do you think yeah. it means like a chain alarm? Yeah, it could mean because it's a weird little device, isn't it? It's, it's like it's not like a normal type of alarm. So maybe something for theatres where if you pull the chain, you know, it sets it off. Look at the ceiling here. Look, I've only just noticed that. If you look at the ceiling. Oh yeah, it's quite that. quite nice. Artexing, look, you know, nice square Artex, and yeah, it goes through. It's all pretty good. So this would have probably been tickets, maybe ice creams, that sort of stuff. No, it's not like a concession counter. Yeah. Some of the, the tickets are different colours, aren't they? What's that? They're actually like game four, game five. Yeah, it's like. Different, different, different rounds. So you choose this and you exchange these for your playing cards, don't you? No, the playing cards are on the back. Oh, so what are those for then, those no, tickets? Well, the tickets are on the back, so if you flip them over, that's where you cross your numbers out for the bingo. So how come they've got that cover over them? Well, that's just the back printing. Look, so oh, you turn it over, or you open it, look, and there's all the bingo numbers. Yeah, but I'm not understanding the purpose of that back printing. Um, they, they give you a. Sh they they rip these off. Right. Tear tear it off. Right. Tear tear one off. No, no, the whole thing. No, you're not getting this at all. Here. Right. Hang on. Right. Here we go, folks. I don't. I honestly don't right. think I've never played. These. Okay. See see the, see. See you can rip it like that. Yeah. So you rip it off, and there's a serial number on the end, and the serial number will correspond. To round five, you've got this many games in round five. You've got pink game, brown game, or green game, or grey game. But in round five, you did you win the yellow round or the green round? And the serial numbers will match. But you could buy you could buy five things and do four, you know, five things and do five attempts at one game in one go. But you can only use the same colour. So you'd have all yellows, all pinks, you know. That's the that's the principle. You can play once, or you can play multiple times by buying multiple cards. But then you've got to you've got to be quick to mark, mark all the cards, like you know. So. Yep. Right then. So are we? What other prizes normally for winning these games? Hand job from Jordan. That, uh, Th Thirty right. seconds. Run, runner runner up gets gets a flick. <laughs> yeah. gets, gets a flick on the end. Get a ceiling up here. Wow. And that's a little uh, secret stairs. That's like a. Um, Tons of them, is it? Yeah, the Oh, look at that. Uh, you can go in there, John. Just don't go in the rafters. Yeah, you might go through. That's uh, pipes there for sending up drinks. So they might have had. There's um, big metal joists over there. Whoa! And and the roof slants over there. So the roof is slanting, as you can see. Oh look, look at that system called Scrooge. Scrooge. That's a relay. Look a. Uh, a special relay system for Scrooge. Ooh, G. G power. Whoa. This? What's this? What's that? Like lampshades. What's that about? On it. God, somebody's gone to town like they're like, I want to smash this window. It is really important. So he's got me doing his voice now. Oh, wow. Look at this. And if you stand there, you can see like the ceiling actually like bows up. Wow, loads of pigeons. Wow, these walls and the artexing. That gold artex, that's amazing. Wow. Well, my, do you know my, my idea was, from looking at it on Google Street Maps, was I thought this window was open. 
because you can see it on Google Street Maps, clear as a bell, window is open. In fact, it's not. You can't tell that until you get up here, but it's not open. But we were told the real way to go in was around the back, and it turns out it is. But I'm really glad I didn't come up here now on that, unless, ooh, 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 that looks ooh, 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 this would open. That would open. There's something on the other side blocking it, but that would open. Are you sure it's not just the handles down? Uh, no, there's something, something, something quite solid on the other side, but look at that pigeon. <laughs> that bloody pigeon. Birdie, the He's birdie. Like, I am in denial that there's anyone in there. It, I think it's a television screen. It's not real. Those people are not in there. I think there's um, wood behind it. Yeah, I think if you moved the wood out of the way, you'd be in business there. I can hear someone making noises at the end of the plane. What about in here? The outside, that was. God, there are a lot of dead pigeons in here, folks. So... What's, what's going on up here, look? What, what's happening with those pigeons in the corner? Are they asleep? Yeah. They're sleeping. On the outside? Yeah. Jesus. Oh, look, he's, he's up there, look. Look where Liam is. <laughs> look, how, look at him up there, look. Wow. Yeah, look, with just this is no lights now, this is just street lights in here, folks. And we've got a nice image. Look yeah. at my image in comparison. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at that image. Fucking hell, it's like it's still daylight. But film on your camera what image you can get with this one on my screen, look, so people can see. Hey, look at my image yeah. here. Yeah. That's in. That's, that's that one. Right. That's ultra wide, and if I go to one times. Look, oh, it's not. It's, it's better. all grainy, look at that. It's better. My camera's seen it better than my eye is, but have a look now on mine with yours so you can show your viewers yeah, I'll have to what happens. On it. Look at that, it's like it's daylight. daylight. I'm going to have to buy one of those cameras. Ah, there you go. Um, if you buy the A7S, it's 500 quid. It only shoots in 1080, but do you need 4K? If you don't mind 1080, 500 quid. If you want 4K, it's the A7S II, and that would be about 1,200 quid second hand. So there you go. This is what this is what we need. Low light capabilities. How much did you spend on yours then? Twelve hundred, I think. Oof. <laughs> I know. You talk like it like, like you've got twelve hundred just to be fat twelve hundred. No, I'm still paying that off. I, I had that on my credit card. I'm still bloody paying it. But there's loads of dead pigeons, and they've been nesting in the in the toilets. The toilets. Oh yeah. There's too many dead pigeons. I think they don't know to get out. Ooh, that goes up. That goes up there, look, folks, into the rafters. Maybe they get in up there and then they don't know how to get back out. Pigeons are good at homing, but not always good at escaping. They can go home from countries far afield, but find their way home. But they can't necessarily get out of the buildings they get into. Because that is a lot of dead pigeons. Poor babies. Mm. Right about there. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't bring any stickers. There we are then. That's the uh that's the curve. Ceilings come in, it's a bit wet. It were covered by bloody. Uh, this is the ro ro rotund on the front of the building. It's the round. Yeah, it Sorry. were a drop ceiling, that wasn't it? Yeah. It covered it up, it obviously deteriorated. 
ages ago and they've obviously got drops so here to compensate. So we can go up that way or we can go up this way. This is closer, what do you reckon then? So this is the way up to the uh, to the gods. Who's that? Well, the... I don't know, I looked at that, it's a weird photo just, we just dropped in here. Here we go. Oh, I love these walks when you get... That's the thing about theatres and cinemas, you get this walk and you don't know what you're going to get and then it just opens out. I love that, it's like... Jala. Ooh. The Mecca Bingo Employee Handbook. Handbook. Oh, look, it's all the, uh, the bingo seats up the front. Oh, and they go down. Now, I was told, be careful up here, because in the balcony, I was told there are dodgy um, floors. So be careful of them. It's wooden up here. Wow, just loads of seats, folks. I think if you fall through this balcony, you'll fall through the ceiling below as well. Oh, shit. So I bet the ceiling's not low bearing. I can hear him upstairs. There he is, look. He is, he's in the gods. I'm going to turn my thing off, look. He's up there, look. He's talking to himself. He's mental. Who does, he, who does he think he's talking to? It's like as if he thinks there's people watching and they're listening to what he's got to say on his videos. It's like as if he's got viewers and an audience. What are you doing up there? We can hear you talking to yourself. I can hear you talking. Oh, shit. We, but we were, we were hearing all your secrets. <laughs> don't, don't fall through there. That, that does not look healthy. Oh, shit. I mean, don't fall through that, please. Yeah, because you'd be dead. <laughs> well, unle unless I'm filming. If I'm filming, then you can fall through it, but don't if I'm not. There are probably those stairs that we saw through this, you know, through the, when we went up first when we were downstairs. Are you right? Yeah, there is Yeah, there's catwalks up there. Cool. We'll have to get up there then. So that's an exit. Look at him. What's he doing? Winding something. Is he, he's winding probably something that would have been to lower lights or... Yes. There's a cable, it's going up. Yeah, there is, there's a cable. It's winding the cable up, look. So that would have been for lights or speakers or something they hung. Yeah, good stuff. Hope you can all see this, folks. Yeah, you could attach a camera to that and lift it up. Mm. A weird perspective. Oh, look at this. Yes. Imagine all the cinema movies, you know, shown here, all the cinema stuff. Was and the projector be in that room behind there? The yeah. Be yeah, no, the, that, that'll be the projectors up there. Most likely upstairs, pointing down. Yeah. Okay, so this is just going to be an emergency exit. Likely just a big slant. That's what we saw downstairs when we were climbing through that area. We saw this stairs and it just doesn't really go anywhere i don't think doors are open but there's uh wooden board, in the wooden board and possibly shutters there's actually a sh shutter in fact that, that's the door the door's been ripped off look okay. the door's just in the corner down there yeah. i'm not wasting time going down there this is nice Woo, this is nice like soft soft fuzzy you could have fuzzy. Sail off this mm. There's an inflatable thing in the middle there, like a... What? There's pumpkin-like sort of thing there on one of the chairs. Oh, yeah. There's a bloody carrot. It's a carrot, I think. We have to find where Mr... Mr Liam is. Oh, there he is, look, providing lighting. He's got put in his top, he's just like spotlight. It's like a ceiling light, that, look. It's like shining it on the ground. <laughs> Mad.
You could come in here with loads of those battery powered flood lights and proper light it up. Yeah. What are projecting onto what? But bring the bloody uh, sound system. What would the sound system be like in here? It is a carrot look. I think it's in its plastic case, it hasn't been re removed. Do you think it removes or do you think it's just like a... I don't know, it's weird. It's like vacuum, vacuum pressed plastic. It's just for Halloween, isn't it? Maybe it's only the Halloween special. Ah, he's gone up from these stairs in the projection room. Oh no, the, the, there's no projection room just behind you because there's a dome. That's the dome for the downstairs ceiling. What made out? It's probably made out of fiberglass because they don't make those things out of um, out of plasterboard because they don't want the vibrations and stuff to make it collapse. Wow. So that's probably to outdoors. Yeah, there's another one on the other side, but it's screwed shut so you can't get out onto the roof. Can you get wow. out onto the roof on this side? Yeah. No. Uh, you can only get where oh. I was if you go up there. So you can walk down these little... You can walk a lot, so you know. Have you been down to these no. little doors down to the side? <laughs> there's a little office type thing down there. Really? Yeah, just in the corner. Little office, folks. What do you reckon, then? Should we go and check it out? Yeah, we might as well. Find out whether it's any good. That's the dome in the um, in the bar area downstairs where all the pigeons were, isn't it? Ooh. Now a lot of this stuff is is wood up here, which um, it looks damp in there. And I think underneath was that rotund room, which also looked fairly damp. So I'm not going to go in there. Look, they've boarded up every single window. Oh no! Oh, look, Patrick Stewart. There's a, there's a poster. Hang on. There's a poster of Patrick Stewart. <laughs> Patrick, Patrick Stewart. Okay. But yeah, all smashed windows. All all the windows have been smashed, and all of them have been boarded up. How sad, eh? Mm. This is like underneath it, isn't it? Mm. That's like the, that's obviously the dome where the pigeons were. Yeah. I said that, but I could fail with it cut off so I'm saying it again doesn't care. Okay. That looks like it goes out onto the roof, also look. Probably these have stripped the cables, so the old building would need rewiring. <laughs> Catwalk heaven. Oh wow. Let's go and let's go and do the catwalks. Yes. Catwalk. So we're behind the fiberglass ceiling now, aren't we? Uh it's not Oh yeah, the uh, the um Alcove. Alcove, yeah, the uh, ceiling. The bugs are red as well. Those indicate that they might be connected to um power? What, are they lit up? Oh, are they lit up? No. No, they're just red. Oh, I've got pigeon shit. Oh, I have. It's like, it's like wet pigeon shit on my boots. Come on. Oh, bit of a squeeze. It's where a head cam would really come in useful, but you're not going to get to see all this detail. Well, yep. These, I don't think these catwalks would have been like here when it were open, would they? Yes, yeah, because they would be lifting up and down lights and various things from the ceiling. God, there's a, there's a ton of shit on my boot. There we go, it's gone now. Oh, here we go, folks. I'm looking at the stairs and you can see. There's a pigeon there, look, going to jump through the hole. Go on, do it. Jump through that hole. Jump into the darkness. Yeah. You see it here? Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's the material that they make sure 
is stuck to the underneath, so in case the nails come through, that, that material holds it. It's like a glue, I think. It's like a safety glue, it's isn't like it? Thick, thick, like, glob, safety, it? safety glob, like yeah. They don't want that. They don't want anything from that falling down on the, the customers underneath. Oh, oh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing something really cool. Yeah, that's a room. That room, that's a room. And I've seen this before. You climb up there, and you go in there, and in that room, there'll probably be a winder or something, or it could be, that could be a fan because it looked like it had a fan in it, didn't it? Uh, my is too loud, I'm just flash light movement. Yes, folks. See, I don't like heights as long as I can't bloody see them. We're hanging off now. We're hanging over about, I don't know, 50, 60 feet. And down there is, oh, nasty. So that's the upper floor. That we're looking yeah, at there. Uh, we're not even down to the down floor, look. Yeah. So not even seeing the, uh, the down bit. Let's get my torch. Show you. There you go. That's better. Oh, now, wow, I bet it's like proper light. Yeah, can you see it? Yeah. Okay, now, going out to wide. There you go, folks. Okay, so this now. is this is the upstairs floor, and that's the downstairs floor. <laughs> so we are pretty high right now. Pretty bloody high. I love it though. I love catwalks as long as they're not wet. As long as you're not going to go flying through them. Oh yeah. And but, then the last thing we'll know of will be the decorative ceiling. Yeah. Yes. But you know, I mean, as long as the wood is dry, all this iron work they used to build things out of is all iron, you know. And then everything is very, very solid wood wise between these irons. I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty solid. Ah. Can we just walk into there from it? Well, there would there wouldn't be this thing here otherwise, would there? So it's gonna have to be a little door you push or something to get in there. We'll find out now. Oh, I'm doing my feet now. Check it out. What do you reckon, then, folks? We can it get looks in there. Like it's like a little push door. Push it in. Yeah, that's not supposed to be open, I don't think. Look at that. That doesn't look like to me that one meant to be open. That looks like to me that someone's passed it open. Well, then, there must have been another way to get up there from the other side, because there has to, has to be a way to get into that room, because that room holds a secret. It's either going to be lighting or a, a pulley to pull things down. But i got a funny feeling that's going to be ventilation. Do these move to the side, do you? Well, Liam was up there. I don't move to the side. Did he get in through the other bit? Liam was in there. So it must be around the other side then. It must be there. Yeah, Look, be. every every part of this has a glob of glue. Yeah. Well, it has one of the, one of these things. So I imagine that there would have been light on each one of these. They were changing the light bulbs on each one of these things. If you can't step on them now, because it would just go in. Hmm. Do you like these um, walkways, Zach? Or do they freak you out? No, you like them? You don't mind? Woo! Small pigeons up in Trafalgar Square, man. <laughs> Go on, look at them. It's a breeding ground. Absolute breeding ground. Hello. Hello. Ah, is that a massive pipe look going up the back? I bet you that pipe feeds into this middle room. And that's where the air comes down, through the centre centre hole in there. Look, it's padded, it's lagged. Put all the lagging at the bottom. <laughs> Ready? If you get if you get your uh, thing down there, put some reflective shit down there as well. Ready? Three, two, one. You can add this here on mine. Move mine in. Text on these. 
Oops, sorry. <coughs> Can you do that for me as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> We're like right above you everything. You'd really drop down that, would you? Mm. <laughs> Well, if it started to go, you want to hold on to one of these metal bars like, you know, like that, really. Yeah. Look at those lights. Those light fittings oh, yeah. are weird. Oh, yeah. Here's the door. Here's the door. Those light fittings are weird, aren't they? You can see it dangling, isn't it? Where? There. Oh, that th those things are old-fashioned. Yeah, I mean, they were quite popular, those. They used to put um, fluorescence in a big glass bulb like that. Is it glass? It's glass on the outside, yeah. And then it's, it's a fluorescent tube on the inside. What they sell you these days is just the inside tube, not the outer glass. Why did they use to put it in an outer glass? Don't know. Well, it might be because it's um, more fire protected if it's if it cracked, it started sparking or something. You want to make sure there's no. Uh, want to make sure there's no risk of uh, sparky fires, especially in a place that's got a lot of wood like this. Right, so there's a massive pipe. That is massive. Actually, I didn't realise it goes all the way across there and all the way back up the way we came. It comes round you. Now, where does it end? Yeah, the pipe. Oh, oh. Shit. Yeah. This hole. Wow. That's That'd a... be a light fitting hole, won't it? That's a light fitting hole, yeah. Okay, folks. Shitty. Oh. Oh. Bounce, bouncy, bouncy, yeah, to be honest. What's that bit there then? Get in my pocket, you better. Oh, it's gone lower. Oh, well, that could no, be towards the stage. Could be the stage. Or it could be the just the natural angle. You know, it starts going towards the stage and it starts angling down. Hmm. Right, so you're not you're not going up here then, Mr. Zach. You're going to leave it to us, are you? I thought he'd go first. You're more likely than me. <laughs> Cheeky yeah, bastards. <laughs> Until I get my old light head torch with post. You know? And then I forget whatever torch you have, what, what you boost torch, what you turn on, it goes woof, and lights everything up like it's fucking daytime. Like it's having it off with daytime. No, this is this is just for lighting. Lighting up and down. This is the uh, oh god, come on. Ah, oh, Jesus. I am stuck. Oh, no, oh. oh, I'm not stuck now. Right, let's get into you. Is where the pulleys are, where we, uh, yeah. where we manipulated them to go up and down? Yeah. Is this our bank, mate? So we're, we're now above the dome in the top. Scary. Scary, 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 folks. This is the highest point of the ceiling, isn't it? It is. And look, it's got its own little room. Ah! There's a fan in it, but... Look, there's fans. The fans are in the ceiling. Just watch, watch your footing. Yeah, I look, can see the fan there, look. That's why you've got that grill, because those fans spin and either suck the air out or blow it in. So those fans up there, one there, one there, and it's to take all the air from here and either suck it away and chuck it out into that, space. That grill I've been custom made for. Yeah, and those are the those are the fan isolator what switches. Is that, here? is that like a, a pulley on a motor? Uh, yeah. yeah you, put a, you put a square. Yeah, like hand that's what he. In. That's what he did. I think he screwed that up. He screwed this? it all away. Yeah, that was what was what hanging handle out. Handle to it then. I think he's probably taken it out or something. There must be an hand up to it, maybe. Mm. Yeah. But there you go, folks. That's what it's all about. It's quite big when you're looking at it. You know when you look, you know when you look up at it. Yeah. You don't get the sense of scale, but when you look at it, that grey is quite large. It is, yeah. I mean. Right, look at how far back it goes. It goes all the way to that wall. Twelve feet. Cross yeah. maybe, maybe a bit more, probably a bit more actually. So yeah. And the, but the, the fan out was tiny, so I can be able to make it so big. Or just well, there's two fan outlets up there. There's two. Yeah. So, oh, right. Look at that weird socket on that. <laughs> oh yeah. 
that, 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 that plug that plugs into there to give you power. That's bizarre. You screw that in, and it's just like chung, and that provides power. Sorry, they put it on there. It provides power of the cable to the uh, to the fluorescent tube. Then How then weird's that? Yeah, like screws that on like that, and then you can pull that off. And oh, sorry, pull that off, and then pull that out. How that bizarre! Is, that is odd. Never seen anything like that before. Jesus. Sorry, not showing you where my where we are. This is a slant here. This is a slant so to stop you sliding. It's got these bits of wood. This to stop you sliding off. You come down here and you get down this. It's full on, folks. It's full on up here, climbing around. Now, if I didn't know any better, that, that would be a dimmer pack there. So you send up controls to this and it can dim the lights up and down, probably the room lights. So you're going to have multiples of those around the place, there'll be lots of them. Yeah, those are plaster of Paris uh, with fabric in it. So they, so it's almost like you'd have on a, a plaster cast. You'd have the material daubed with plaster, and then it sets hard. So that's a plaster cast material with with a fabric in it as well. So if you want to see the fabric, let's get a bit closer. See the fabric. See the fabric on a new battery. Gimbal on. And there it goes. Now we're back in action. Lights. Off we go. This is nicely, uh, and it's not. It's just bent. That stuff. It's just bent and then riveted. So you might have put a bit of sealant behind it, but it's not welded. Oh, that box there, I think is for emergency lighting. It's got power in and a light fitting out. So if the lights go out, that, that's why it's so heavy, because it's got a battery in it. Battery to, uh, oh, to supply emergency power to get people out of the building if the power fails, the lights come on. Here we go. Nice little X marked up in white so you don't bang your head. Oh, do you hear that bang? Yeah. Is that you, Liam? Liam? You alright? Okay. He's like, don't nanny me. You're not my mother. <laughs> It's all like that you've made it from scratch and bent it in place and yeah. riveted, it, riveted it in. It's not even like. Yeah, you go, look. It filters into another one here, look. Similar thing, rivets. It's bent up, as Jordan pointed out. Yeah, it's all just, it's all just sli slipped together. Temporarily tame. Mm. And these have all got little holes cut in them, probably because that's where you'd reach down. And there's a plug there, look, plug. And you'd reach down and put the bulb in, face it down. So those are sealing, sealing down lights. Amazing. You enjoying this so far? It's going good. It's all right, isn't it? Whoa. The stairs are very long, man. Never long. No further along. Can you climb through this X formation? I think we did, yeah.
Yeah. Yeah, we did. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. There would have been lights all the way up here, look. Strip lights above you. But you could have easily smacked your head into that strip light and taken it out. See, a strip light above you. That would be not good. A bit of glass in your hair. Well, I look on all the time. I'll turn them on when they come up. Yeah, so now we've got the thin stairs to get through. And that is... Whoa. Covered in pigeon poo. Pidgey poos. Oh yes, pigeon poo central this. This is proper Ming. Ming in. Ooh, all right, straight back into the theatre bit. Mm. Well, there he is, Mr. Liam. He is there. Do you want a bit of light? Oh, you, no, you, you can see quite well with that now. Yeah. How can you see so well? Ching. That's just because it's your are on. I'm on photo mode. If I go to video, I know it's still fat, still alright. But then it's not grainy now. You see. Yeah, but it's better in um, normal one times camera, isn't it? Yeah. Have you got an ultra wide lens on your? I've got an ultra wide, and mine's crap in uh, ultra wide. It's not good in the dark. I mean, on your seven S. Uh, this is an ultra wide lens, yes, uh, 14 millimeter. So it's pretty damn wide. Right. Oh, no, there's nothing, nothing round there. So I'm struggling to see that there would have been a projection room here. And whoops, a daisy, that's not meant to happen. Hang on. Here we go. Um, up there to the roof. Probably don't want that. Although, it's openable, this one. Probably don't want to go on the roof because the roof is just a horrible slanted piece of shit. Let's be screwed shut. Oh shit! No, nope. there it is. <laughs> Anybody fancy a roof? Should we go on it? Yeah, it's on. wet, or is it? That's the last. The last thing I'd expect to find up here would be a pigtail SMA connector. An SMA or RPSMA. Oh, I know why. I know why. Oh, you want to be careful up here. I don't know if this roof is so solid, but yeah, I know why that would have been up there. Because guess what? They would have had mobile towers there, but they've been pulled out. They've been long pulled out. And there is the ball. Look, the uh, the golden ball. Oh my God. Yeah. It's a golden ball, folks. Amazing. So yeah, they would have had uh, cell towers. Cell towers there. So that's why those RPSMAs were there because they would have had a high frequency uh, equipment going to there. Probably all the transmitters would have been sitting on on this plinth. Yeah. All right. Well, you can go up onto the main roof, but I wouldn't recommend I it. I think that's not really. A I don't mind. think that's a really good idea. Oh shit! It's, a bit... ah, it's not even attached. It's not attached, no. Shit, folks. It's pretty juicy. Yeah. Here we go. This is Hull. Hello, Hull. Where's Where's Rod? Where's Rod? Rod Hull and Emu. Where are they? We came to this bloody theatre and now we want our money back. Where's Rod Hull? So. If anyone's that down there, we're just going to see these lights lighting up there. Yeah. Did you get a photo of that globe? Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? It's got um, little, small, golden bits, like uh, chips in it. Mm. Got it. Yeah. Shards or chips. It's a bloody angle grinder disc on the floor there. <laughs> That looks more like a little Dremel disc. Mmm, pretty small. <coughs> Here he is, the man, the myth. Can you uh, do it?
do us a favour and hold this because it's a bastard. Oh, cheers. Can you point it towards this? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't want to come. Downstairs? No, wouldn't this have been it? Or is this too small? Too small, I think, and it's a pretty bit of a shitty angle on it as well, isn't it? Yeah, the screen will be lopsided. <laughs> no, you can actually correct for that. It's called keystone correction. Yeah, but that's not proper, that. that because what it does is it just blanks off the area that... No, no. Are they use mirrors in professional no. grade? Tr trust me, right, you can actually project downwards like that. Down at a really, really hard angle like that. But what you have to do is the gate, that's where the film is coming, mm -hmm. has to also be counter-tilted because the screen is down there. And then it, it adjusts the top and the bottom of the image so that it stretches it out. It's called keystoning. And you can do it sideways as well. You can do it to the left and to the right. Keystone correction. And it, you find it on video projectors. So if you're projecting from a ceiling downwards, the image looks really distorted and you use the keystone when correction. When I use keystone on my projector, it looks like more black space. It looks like the, the bulb's just not shining any light in that area. Ah, that's because you're, digital. you're digitally keystoning. But more expensive projectors have an actual physical keystone. There's a little motor in there and it goes and repositions the, um, the LCD angle. Trust me, folks, I'm a professional. Used to be a projectionist, so I should know about this, this shit, really. Ooh. So you can get out that side as well. And you can go down and there's another s emergency staircase. It's a shame they made the actual stage much smaller because it makes it look less grand. You know, putting it in as a little box there is kind of poxy. Hmm. Female toilets this side. Wow, quite big. Floor's a bit bouncy. Not comfortable with the floor. Oh, men, but no uh, emergency escape this side. Oh, there's a door at the back as well. What's that? It's, uh, it's like a cubicle. That's the cubicle. But they actually had a uh, actually had a cupboard for you to hang your coat and stuff up in. What the hell? Why did they have that? Who were using it like that, actually? You are. Yeah. All right. I'll stop, I'll stop filming. No, I won't. Jordan likes getting his privates out and, be, and letting people see him having a pee. Yeah. If you meet Jordan, ask him to have a pee in front of you. I guarantee you, he will flop it out and have a pee right in front of you. And you think I'm kidding. Just try it out, folks. Do the Jordan pee pee test. Try it out today. Jordan pee pee test. Fair play. Right, so there's the other stairs going down to the other side of the thing. I, I got a funny feeling that pr the projection booth might have been mid mid floor because I can't see how they would have done it. I mean. Uh, unless those upper set of seats were where the projector was and they took it out and redid the floor in wood 
it's normal, it's normal practice to have a stone floor for projectors to be on because of the fact you don't want fire. But I get the feeling this is original. Yeah. We were just up there. But it is possible they had a, a lower projection thing. But you often get clipped, if you're not careful, by, the, uh, by this um, balcony. So you've got to be a bit careful with that, but it's possible. It is possible. Oh, there's more vents there as well, look. I only just noticed there's more vents there and there. So, I think we've probably done most of it now then. Yeah, should we that one? Well... The opposite staircase. Oh, should we sit down and go to sleep? I think that's we should stay. That's a bit steep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Electricity. You don't, don't expect it to actually be sloped here, but it is sloped. You actually get bad this off, look. Yeah. Maybe not so bad. Uh, they're just trying to stop people moving from A to B to C, isn't it? Did we go in there? I don't know. Here. Toilets, no, probably. Toilets. Yeah. Toilets. <laughs> Toilets. Right. Back at this. Yeah. Back at this end, there's nothing else down this end now, I don't think, is there? No, there isn't anything no. Down this end, so. We saw this upstairs. Remember we were, like, where we walked up to get to the gods? We saw the back of this. Yeah. Quite interesting. That telly needs a service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Right then. It's a surface rust and then it'll work once you've sanded that off. Hmm. I'm, I'm kind of a bit stumped, really, where the projector could have been. And, uh, they're just pictures of whatever the picture of. Pictures of shite, aren't they? Mm. I mean, there are no projectors in here, are there? No, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe if we look down downstairs, back at the back of the room, we might spot. An like area. A low. Yeah. It would have had to have been fairly low though. It would have to be put fairly low to shine up and not hit the balcony. Oh. Right. Well, that's the front front house. So, if it was, it might have been there, uh, in which case we need to look for a small room hidden behind that. Oh yeah, that's brick or behind that. I think, yes, they could have done that, that's brick, but, but, but there might be something on one or other side. I think there could have been a projection room with the holes maybe somewhere like that, and I think it would have cleared it would have cleared to be able to get the top of the screen in. I can't see it though. I think they built the bar in front of it here and hid it. Oh look, there's a wall here. Oh, hang on. There's a wall here, look. But what's this? What's this? Here we go. Oh, yep, 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 steps up. Steps up. And it's a room. It's a room, but it's being used as a storage room, but it might not have always been this way because this is a new wall. Okay, it goes off to the side here. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it goes through the air conditioning, although I have been in this one. Yeah, I bet this was it, because those steps up are everyday use steps. They're not like, they're not like climb only when you need it. Those are for everyday use. And they look like the type of steps you'd put for everyday use. Is that a stove? Yeah, barbecue. Barbecue, yeah. So I think this was the projection room somehow. Don't know quite how. But look, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's filled in, look. Look, here we go, folks. Evidence. Filled in. Filled in hole. Filled in hole. Filled in hole two. That's number two. So there we go. There's your two holes. 
it would have been pointing to the screen. And there's your viewing holes. That's the ones you look through to focus the, the image. And that's the one the projector's going out through. Yeah. So there you go. So there'll be a smaller hole over here as well. So there's the big hole. There should be a smaller one too. Uh, not seen a smaller one for that one. And that makes sense why the air conditioning room would be next to it because this yeah. is where all the cooling needs to be. Yep, yeah, that's it folks. So we've, we've discovered the final mystery. This, it was a lower projection, not an upper projection. Lower projection. Even Philips agree. Even that Philips CRT agrees. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, there you go. So this was the secret projection room. Projection room that uh, you never <laughs> realised was there. Right. Oop, I'm having a bit of an emergency. <laughs> So I thought we heard music coming in from somewhere. Could be coming in through these doors, but I could have sworn it sounded like it was coming Surely, but down there. The sound because it's the same, or would it just be the theatre room? The sound well, you'd have to have all the doors closed for it to stop a lot of the audio. Yeah. You've got stickers. I'll stick a Mac to one. This would be a good place because it's uh, it'll stay on there or on you. They're always hard to get the edges on them, aren't they? <laughs> Do you ever get difficulty on doing the edges? No, because the ones I've got, they've got a little piece of lip that you can just bend down and it always flicks the sticker out. because yours are professionally produced. What does, what does be Bef Befas computing mean? What? What does Befas computing mean? Befas? What is this Befas? What does Befas? Oh my God, I'm getting... I'm going. I'm going. That's for us. <clears throat> well, there you go, folks. That is it. It don't get no better. It don't get no better than that. Oh, now then, now then. Uh, didn't see any behind-the-stage theatre rooms, like uh, dressing rooms. Didn't see anything like that, did you? There's no stairs up up to to dressing rooms and stuff like that. Didn't see any of that. Uh, oh, you sent me a pic. There's a bloody stapler there. Look, what's that? It says it says cash line. Cash line stapler. A what? Oh, right. Happy Mother's Day. Play our special game. Fabulous choices. Look, somebody's urinated in... Oh, they have. That, that is not... That's not Sprite. Urinated in it, Carl? It's not Sprite. So nothing off that side then, yeah? It's toilets. There would have been metal stairs, metal steps up over here, because I've been up there. Yeah. I climbed on the freezer and then on a pallet there and they got them through the door. That's Do you know what? Out. I think that's a, an upper, it is, it's an upper LCD. Right at the very top where you've got these things, there's a massive LED display going across the top. Yeah. Because that's one of the panels that's come down. So that would have been huge. And a smaller one there. Ugh. That's probably, maybe that's what those um, things in the, uh, in the rack, rack mount is yeah, special. I thought, I thought there might be like either sound equipment or LED. drivers for the LED um, display system, yeah. So it would probably be the thing that puts the 
you know, the animated letters that comes across. You need a leaf blower now, and then you can go, go really fast. <laughs> Do Colin Furzen. <laughs> look at that clean air, look at that thing. That big box there. That's it, that's a filter. It's a filter. For the air conditioning. But it's, it's, it's like half of it is just cardboard. They're charging the money for that, and it's just a load of cardboard, look. Look. It's just, it bloody, it's just bloody cardboard. Oh, no, it's got like a... It's, it's all like one piece, though. It's oh, got like a is, membrane. Is it, it? Like, is it like a V-shaped membrane? Yeah, can you feel yeah. like how it's got a membrane got in it? It's got like a... It's got like a... a this, like, fabric filter on the outside, and it just feels like multiple yeah. fine mem membranes, and they're just... Yeah, they're just spacers. Up. They're just so the membrane it doesn't touch together and seal, you know. Yeah, yeah, cool. Ooh, put on a smile and put on the best game in town. I don't think so. Oh, back room. D didn't, did I see this? I don't think I did see out here, actually. We never came out here. It's just safe. Safe on the floor. So this might have been the dressing rooms. Might have been the dressing rooms then. Whoa, there's a, there's a little hidden room in here. Can you get through there? Oh, yeah, you can. Look at this. Why would they have a um, serving? A serving room? Oh, you know, you know why? Because people will be bringing money here, handing it through this hatch to go in that big safe. So they had a security... This was like a security system for handing in money from the cashiers. Yeah, well, there's two safes here. Oh, maybe the maybe they came in here and handed the money that way then. Yeah. Handed the money through. Way. Yeah. Um, but this is this is where the money would have come. And I got a feeling this is the old dressing rooms. Look, folks, this is the old dressing rooms. I would say that. Stage right. Yeah, these are the old dressing rooms. Yeah, that's it. It's not very secure. Ooh, well, ready, yeah. Our safes are fitted with time locks. So you open it, and then you can see the timer on the inside. Where you set it, and it's like a little magnifying glass. So you can set the settings. Yeah. And I, would, I suppose you'd have had a little key here to wind it to the setting that you wanted it to be on. Yeah. So one's probably hours and one's probably minutes. Yeah. You know, or maybe a start time and a stop time. Yeah, so you can only open the safe between those times. So Wednesday night only, set safe for 10 hours. Mmm. Mmm. Ideal. Look at how many bloody it's got in it. Hey, what's that box on the side, look, over there? Panasonic. Oh, it's telephone exchange, probably. <laughs> Um, Pan Panasonic telephone exchange, like, yeah. yeah. Am I? Cheers, man. Ooh, look. There's a big old, uh, is that a rucksack? Like a duffel bag, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a duffel bag, but you could also wear it as a rucksack. <laughs> yeah, it's a telephone exchange. IP, IP, um... Phones. IP, yeah. H hybrid IP PBX. Or, or VoIP, as some call it, but... You see, isn't it? That's an electromagnet, and that's... I've never seen that thing before. Oh, a roller. Yeah, a roller thing. And, look, they got security things, so you can look through and speak. And a chain, so the door will only come open a certain distance. it will have to be a solid wood door for that to even be effective, not just one of these. Yeah. Bollocks that ours. Yeah, not a full full of uh, fl yeah, fluffy bar. stuff, yeah. So it's got one, two, three, four. Four, four five. locks. One, two, three. So they did used to keep their money in here at night, folks. If we look at that. One, two, three, four. There's no point having a 45 door when you can just kick through walls. Yeah, but that's because we know we know the secrets of um, how how shit things are. But they think that I'll stop a burglar, but a burglar would know that this is just plasterboard. Hmm. I mean... 
It's, oh look, look cameras as well. There's camera systems and a light, a light so they can see you. And a camera that had been pointing at the doorway. Yeah. Is that little black thing That'll a... be a power transformer so it's not putting mains through into it, um, won't it? Yeah. It's a power supply, look. Yeah. I don't want to put mains into you. A fire alarm or spit siren so it, it gets really loud to freak you out so you'll run away if if you're trying to do something dodgier, you'll run if you, if that thing goes off, it'll be a bit really loud. Wow. So, there we go folks. This is, or was, the Carlton Theatre. I mean it turned into a Mecca bingo hall. Yeah, it became Mecca. Before it became Shitter. <laughs> became Mecca then uh minor. Mm. Oh, we gotta try and get out now. That wasn't easy getting in. <laughs> Built us up here, so bear like. Oh yeah. And um, let's start the Yeah. Maybe they've had a face on, maybe that's the face shirt, I don't know. Yeah. Is that the, no, that's not the face shirt. Maybe they wouldn't have just been like that, it'd have been like a real face shirt on them, wouldn't they? Might have been, yeah. Oh, I doubt that because of what I thought of designing it all grand and just having like a shit no. hit them out on this. No. It might have had um, a piece of wood that had carved things in it, like they sometimes have like carvings and things. Yeah. Wow. Here we go, folks. I so. use it and put emergency use only. Well, we're using it in an emergency because this is his only way out. Mm. It's a uh, emergency situation. opens and closes and gives you air. Look at how much dust is in it. It could be. Oh, it could be. Um, oh, an old burner boiler. A burner exhaust port. So you see, because oh. the, the burner burns, yeah, and that's the exhaust. So if you want the exhaust to come into the room, you do that, but you wouldn't really want that. Yeah. It's be mucky, 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 mucky. Are you going to be alright getting out there? Yeah. First. Should be there. You want to take your bag off really, but it's too late now. Just watch your leg, take time with the leg when you're coming through. Like. It's alright. Right? Yeah, because there's nails there, so watch them. Yeah. £1,200. Yeah, that's the one. Cami Cam. Cami Cam. 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 Yeah. Cam long time. Got to go back a little bit so it's. That van outside's just turned on. What? That van outside's just turned on, I think. 
really. I think so. That's quiet. That, if I saw light, I don't think it was that actually. Maybe I just were overreacting. Maybe I was just overreacting and thought it was some it wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Just caught up, caught up, caught up. Don't it's matter, crap. we'll just fob them off if it is. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens, you get caught on everything. You can stand on that bin down here, look. Yeah. Right, am I loose? Yeah. Loosey goosey, I am loose. Yep, there Thank we you. go. Thank you very much. It's not easy, folks, but good luck. And if anybody is, if anyone is thinking that we Make sure did this, please. we did this. We right, all I'm going to say is, some other big YouTubers went through here before us. No names mentioned, so wasn't us. Down, 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 down. A wise man has taken his expensive coat off. Now, can he get through? Down, down, down. down. He's doing better than I did. <laughs> Why is he doing better than me? Really bomb films. Oh yeah, he's yeah. got he's got it sus look folks. He's not messing about. Liam will just literally launch through there, like head first, uh, with his arms in front of him like yeah. Superman. Once you'll be like da da da. He will just float horizontally through there. Like his anti-gravity man. Oh yeah. Oh wait, well, yep. Yeah. Ding, you can hear those nails going pink, 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 pull it on you. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He trusted the wood. Yeah. He trusted the wet vent wood. Try, try wow. Dear, dear. Right. Have we, um. Oh, yeah. You got. I forgot where that. Yeah. I forgot where your coat was. Can you hold them back for a second? Yeah. Yeah. Well done. You're not putting your coat on to go through. Oh no. <laughs> He's just gonna get scagged, isn't it? Yeah. Fair shout. It's a bit of a squeeze, isn't it? So Hello. So what do you reckon then? I think it was an amazing exploit. You could see the stage, but the stage was a bit pathetic, really, because they'd modified it and made it a bit smaller. But yeah. then, like, you could go... Should we walk and talk? You could, like, go round, and, like, the ceilings were still, like, the original, it's like, like that, you know? Like, that wow factor, that old uh, cinema and theatre ceilings have, they still had that wow factor. And when they'd shortened the stage, they actually put effort to make the stage blend in with the with the old-fashioned um, architecture that they've done. So when you, when you ask him to bullshit that he's like a TV presenter because there's people going into their, into their church, you see what he can do instead of going, yippee! <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is capable of it, folks. Well, I can go, yippee! <laughs> when my voice isn't <laughs> fucked from screaming all day. <laughs> anyway, there we go, folks. Zach, Liam, LK. So... And big like, face computing! Oh, I did. I think they probably know that one by now, but. Oh, yeah. well, we might be still some brain dead people that don't know. <laughs> Folks, it's beef, it's computing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thanks very much for tuning in. And uh, don't hit like, don't hit subscribe. And don't do what Jimmy Savile did, because <laughs> they might catch you.